What are you doing? Good morning! How's everybody doing today? I'm doing particularly good. Oh, we squish! Yay! Last night, we decided to try some techniques to help learners start self-settling. This is something we should have done months ago, but every night it always seems too difficult to be the night to start. The last four nights have been so terrible with her sleep. I was like, I, ca I can't deal with it being anywhere. So we should probably just start trying to do something. Change something. Let's do something. Let's do it. So last night we tried a technique called the pick up, put down technique. It seemed the one that she would respond to the best. The technique is that you lay the baby down in their bed awake. And when they cry, you pick them straight back up. And once they're settled, you put them down again. She usually settles very quickly when you pick her up. So I felt like this would work. And you know what? It worked amazing. Oh. Oh man, oh man, it was so good. I reckon it maybe took five, 10 minutes, for 10 minutes to get her to sleep. And I must have picked her up and put her down like 20 times, which for a 10 kilo baby, it was a lot of work. But I could see as I was doing it that she was, it was longer, she was laying there for longer. And then in the end she just like lay there and was like, okay. What? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, she still woke up a lot over the next few hours like she always does, but I'd say 50% of the time I had to go in there and pick her up, put her down like once or twice, so it was really good. And then overnight was amazing. It's a, it's a really positive sign in the right direction. I'm trying not to get my hopes up to the last night may have been a fluke, but I'm feeling good about the future. Oh, <coughs> Um, do you guys know anything about cactuses? That doesn't look good. What? has happened to our cactus overnight. Yeah. It has completely fallen over. Comment below if you know anything I can do to resolve that. I'm gonna do some Googling. Look at me, I'm doing my makeup without a baby strap to my front. Yes. We're just about to head out on an epic double post office mission because Luna's got a parcel to our old, not very nice post office and I have a parcel delivered to our new nice post office. It's like a 40 minute round trip by feats. Are you ready, Bubba? Gonna do this? I know on the cart it says Luna's parcel is big, so I don't know how big. I got my Adidas backpack on. You guys may remember I picked that up at the outlet store on Mad Spesh and I was excited to get it. I was mainly going to use it for when we travel because of this setup. It's quite good. It's got wide straps. Ergo has really thick straps, which is great, except any handbags that hook over my shoulders or thin strap backpacks just fall straight off. So this is holding up. Excellent. Push, you ready? Should we go? Let's go. Just got to post office number one. Thank you very much. Have a good day. I think it's another patch. See you at the next one. Number two. Wish me luck. There you go. Thank you very much. Check out the size of this freaking parcel. So I'm not even sure how it's going to fit in the backpack. It's more baby clothes from Morgan. Thanks, Morgan. Thank you again, Morgan, for our wonderful package of pre-loved baby clothes that we can love a little bit more. Had I known that that's what I was picking up, I would have either got Nate to do it or taken the pram because that's a heavy parcel. I had the dog lead in one hand and then like the parcel under my arm. Oh, I'm sweating. 45 minutes, 3.15 kilometers. And my top is off because that was a brand new Calvin Klein t-shirt and I've just completely sweated through it. So that bad boy's going straight in the wash. Oh my God, look at these two. Luna, are you excited to see what's in there? Do you know that's yours, right? You say, thank you, Morgan and Liv and Bo. Dig in, Luna. Oh, much better night last night. Not feeling completely ratchet today. Fee was up once, maybe twice, I think. Fee definitely did harder work than I did last night, but we both definitely had a far easier night last night than we had the last, like, three nights. So, just gonna grab something to eat. Nothing else to really report in on at the moment. I was gonna go out and get Fee's Mother's Day present on my lunch break, but then just sort of started walking and realized I'd forgotten the car key, and yeah, it can happen tomorrow now. How you going, mate? Good, yourself? 
why. Thank you. Ciao, man. See you guys. A sign of the fact that I'm not nearly as tired as I have been the last three or four days, it's two o'clock and this is only my second coffee. As opposed to the last three or four days, I think by now I've had about three or four. Definitely an improvement. <laughs> You guys want to know what I'm going to do to take full advantage of this situation? I'm taking a nap in my own bed alone. Oh. oh my god. By doing all this, she's going to sleep better at night. So my afternoon naps will no longer be required. It was as though I closed my eyes and then she woke up. It was about half an hour altogether, it wasn't very long. She's definitely still tired. I've just spent the last 15 minutes seeing if she'll go back to sleep because she's just all of the eye rubs. I'd say out of those 15, 10 were crying and violent, violent eye rubbing. Yeah, that's why your face is all splotchy. It wasn't a great nap, but it was better than no nap, I guess. <laughs> So Luna and I have just been having some chill time in her room. We are reading some books, just hanging out. Yeah. She was so upset after that nap. So she's kind of a bit more rested. She's in a way better mood. Today I'm testing out Urban Decay Naked Skin. I love so much about it, but I also hate it. I'm not greasy. It's left a really, like my skin is just a really nice Texture, I think it's done a pretty good job of covering these bird boys. You know, it just, it looks good, but it's all coming off. Can you see on my nose? Coming off on my chin. I'm not saying my old MAC foundation was perfect. It just wasn't as bad as this. This is coming off way, like I, I have little fingers grabbing at my face all day. It is not optimum foundation conditions. This I am totally aware of. I think if I didn't have a baby and I never touched my face, this foundation would be perfect. But it's it's just, it's coming off a bit patchy. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go back and get some more samples of different stuff. I insta-storied earlier about my droopy cactus. I tagged Cactus Tech Country, which is this place. Yeah, which is a few hours out of the city and it's just like, it's, it's literally a cactus country. And we bought it from them when they were doing the market in the city and I tagged them in my post, was like, what do I do with my droopy cactus? They hit up my DMs and were like, it's just like, it's just looking for light. It's not sick, it just needs light. This apartment is definitely lacking in the light department. So I've moved it, it was here. He's now here, but that is the closest it can get to light short of being out on the balcony. At the very least, it'll stand it back up straight, so we'll see. Boop, 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 boop. Draw. We're just about to head over to the park and I have to show you guys something. Amazing. I've been saying for the longest time that I want to get Luna some like, push, go way by the door. Your lead's on, go way by the door, go on. I've been saying for the longest time I want to get Luna some kind of like booty slipper things for the park. It gets cold in the evening and it's like too much trouble to put like her little shoes on. So you end up just like layering up socks. Well, in that package from Morgan today was a pair of like Bond slipper booties. Check them out. But they're awesome. So I'm um, Morgan, just again, I'm just gonna, I just have to say, thank you so much. I hadn't got around to getting them myself. Now I don't have to, cause you did it. Standard issue, just got home. Guys are over at the park, meeting them over there. But then I think I've got to go out and get some dinner. Fee's gunning pretty hard for pizza. I know we shouldn't, but I can't come up with anything else. There's all the crew. What are you doing? What are you doing? How good's old mates clapping? I had some mad, mad parking. Good crew over there tonight. Good people. I need to tell you a story. All about how, man. So you would have seen on the weekend, Jack brought this camera for me to have a play with. And it's dope. I really, really want a medium format of my own. Up until last night, maybe I'd taken like two or three shots on it. And all of them I was real stoked on. And then last night, I took it with me when I went in to get ramen. And while I was waiting for the ramen to be made, I took three frames that I was really stoked on. And then as I got home, 
You see just here, that there shows, you know, the number of frames that you've taken. And it still said one, but by that point I'd taken like maybe six. So text Jack, and what I didn't realize is on a medium format camera, not only do you have to wind the shutter open, but you also have to wind the film on each time. So what I'd done is exposed five or six different photos on the one frame of film. <sighs> Rookie error. Bye. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six. Technically six different camera things I've taken down with me. All to go and get pizza. So since I messed up all of the shots last night and I had to come out and get dinner anyway, I'm gonna try and get a couple of the same shots that I took last night again tonight. Shot one done. Shot number two done. Well, putting Luna to bed just now was quicker than when I used to rock her to sleep. Sorry about the angle. I'm just cleaning up her toys. Which is ridiculous. How's it? It really only took like a minute or two. This is really great. I'm definitely still trying not to get my hopes up, but they are they're way up there. Way, way up there. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Yeah. Maybe one more photo and then home. One last shot. I definitely just got in the way of a tram. I was standing right in the middle of the road to get the shot and the tram came down the tracks and I still hadn't got the shot. I think though I might have got a real mad shot because of that. Home time. Pizza time.